Hi guys, what I'm about to tell you is mysterious but equally as fascinating because we don't know much about what is going on underneath the ground that we're standing on or on the ocean floor in the vast oceans and especially in the Pacific Ocean. So something was discovered there that is fascinating and I want to tell you about this. So we thought who produces oxygen, oxygen that we need to exist for life? Well, plant photosynthesis, right? So, but there is something else at the depth of the ocean that researchers have discovered and it, they were scratching their heads at first because they couldn't understand what was happening. So that's why the headline of this video dark oxygen found at the bottom of the pacific ocean because in order to produce oxygen plants need sunlight right it is a major discovery or let's say it is a sensational discovery so the scottish association of marine science seems to have discovered a dark source of oxygen a source of oxygen hidden in the ocean floor. And you have to understand what that means, if that is true, and it is true. What that means for the whole theory we had so far, it definitely casts doubt on the theory that the first source of oxygen on our planet three billion years ago was photosynthetic or predominantly or only photosynthetic organisms. But guys, what if were minerals instead? Minerals. Are minerals alive, you might ask? So let's have a closer look. I am blown away by this. It's very, very interesting. So here are the results that these researchers found and they have published that in the Journal of Nature Geoscience. They have studied the ocean floor in depth for over a decade. So they've been doing this for quite a long time. And the focus on this study has been on the clarion Clipperton area in the Pacific Ocean. So you see this behind me. This is the area where they have led their focus of their investigative research. So they have examined many ecosystems in this area and uh, they have revealed that something exists in that area that they have called polymetallic nodules. So polymetallic. Poly means many, right? So these are agglomerates of precious minerals on the ocean floor. I mean, imagine that, right? Precious minerals. We need them for a lot of things, like lithium, for example, for batteries, iPhones, electric cars, stuff like this. It's very difficult to mine lithium, and it's very environmentally questionable to do that. So the size of these polymetallic nodules that they found in the depth of the ocean half the size of potatoes, so that size. And they are scattered everywhere in this area that they were investigating in an area at 4,000 meters of depth. So they contain lithium, cobalt, copper, manganese, and nickel. So if you've watched my channel and if you've watched the disaster about the Titan submersible that tried to go down 3,000 meters down to the Titanic, this is 4,000 meters. This is even deeper. So all of these materials are basically needed for the production of these batteries. So easy to imagine, guys, right? That it is a treasure that would be wanted by many companies, especially the mining industry. And of course, once the mining industry learned of that, they started working on the development of technologies to bring everything to the surface. Would that be a good thing? Well, we learn what these potatoes can do, and then maybe it's not such a good thing to bring them to the surface. So they were not surprised to find minerals on the ocean floor. That was not what surprised them, or that was not the mysterious 
thing. They noticed something else that was very strange back in 2013. So at that time, the scientist was working to measure the flow of oxygen in limited areas rich in nodules, rich in potatoes. So they noticed how the flow of oxygen towards the seabed seemed to increase, which is absolutely strange. Why? Rather than decrease, which would be normal. If it comes towards the seabed, it would decrease. So they were looking, are there any photosynthetic organisms nearby that could be responsible for this production of oxygen? And the deeper down you get, the less light comes through, right? So the less of these organisms are present there. So they were looking at their instruments. Are our instruments faulty? Are there anomalies in our instruments? Is that the reason? Because that must be the reason, right? But they could rule that out. Of course, they're scientists. So they went on to search for another answer. And that answer was very unusual, guys. It took them a while to find an answer. So when this area was looked at again in 2021, the measuring instruments were producing the exact same data. Of course, they had newer, more advanced, different measuring instruments and also a different measuring approach. So at this time then, Years later, the scientists were evaluating changes in oxygen levels, and they were looking at this in a closed environment. It's called a benthic chamber. It collects sediment and it allows analysis. So they're using this. So the goal was to understand how oxygen is consumed by breathing microorganisms. So they were also only looking at something else, how microorganisms Consume oxygen. Okay, interesting. So they said, what did they expect in that research? They expected to see a decrease in oxygen levels in that chamber, right? However, things went really, really differently. So despite a condition of darkness and the impossibility of photosynthetic reactions, the oxygen increased again, also in that closed scientific environment. So how can that be? What is producing the oxygen? So the goal of this investigation changed. It went from checking for the presence of any microorganisms capable of producing oxygen to what is going on, right? Then slowly, they were kind of coming up with the thought that could these polymetallic nodules be involved in this? So they were thinking by catalyzing a reaction different from the one that occurs in photosynthesis, they could have increased oxygen levels in a different way. So they were conducting several tests and then it became clear that these nodules, these potatoes on the ground of the seabed behave like geobatteries. Yeah, you listen to me, geobatteries. So they're able to generate a small electric current equal to one volt each. So what does that have to do with oxygen, you might think? This is what splits the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen, because that's what they are made of. And it releases the oxygen. And that's the process of er electrolysis and not photosynthesis. Wow, right? So what is the groundbreaking thing. So at least potentially, but very likely, they have discovered a new natural source of oxygen. 
The scientists are saying, we don't know, however, how persuasive it could be in time and space, but they say it's something extremely interesting that they want to investigate further. And I will stay on top of that. I will stay on the pulse of it. That's why my channel's named On the Pulse with Silky. So maybe guys, that was interesting for you. If it was, please leave this video a like. If you're new here, please subscribe. There's a lot of interesting stuff on my channel. Check out the videos here in the end screen maybe that is something that interests you and guys thanks 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 so much for the supers you're giving my channel to support my channel my farm my animals that's what i use the money for for the coffees you keep buying me to keep me up and running <laughs> to do these videos i'm very very grateful guys thanks so much and uh stay safe wherever you are and stay tuned for the next one i'm out of here bye bye